On the evening of Wednesday, July 7, 2021, a group of specially trained individuals from the Jamaica Constabulary Force arrived at an apartment complex in San Andrew, where they took into police custody a man known as K. McCollum. Column was being sought by the St. Catherine Police for taking the life of another individual and for being involved in other serious and dangerous activities across the parish. It was on Wednesday, July 7, 2021, that a group of specially trained police officers took McCollum into their custody. Column was taken into police custody during a special and targeted operation that was led by members of the Jamaica Constabulary Forces Special Tools and Tactical Unit at an apartment complex along Constant Spring Road in San Andrew. Column was one of four men who were listed by the St. Catherine North Police as persons of interest. He is 26 years old. According to the police team, he is being sought in connection with the passing of Mr. Brown on January 20th, 2019 on Chins Avenue in the parish of St. Catherine. Youth of 15 has been held with a dangerous and illegal tool. This youth of 15 has been charged following the seizure of a dangerous tool and several rounds of accessories in Harbour View. Based on police reports, at approximately 3.25 p.m. on Monday, the youth was walking along a roadway when he ran after seeing police officers. He was taken into police custody and searched. The police mentioned that an S and M 9 mm dangerous tool and 69 mm accessories were found in a bag that he was carrying. He was later taken to the police station and charged. His court date is being finalized by the police team. Individuals who attended a party in St. Elizabeth were involved in a dangerous encounter with some dangerous individuals. Four persons were harmed by these dangerous individuals. Two of them lost their lives while at a party in Elam District, St. Elizabeth, on Tuesday night. The persons who were harmed remain in hospital while two of them passed away. They have been identified as Medley and Tape. The police report that approximately 10.30 p.m., these individuals were among patrons at a party when a dispute developed between two men. A few minutes later, one of the men involved in the dispute was joined by other men who took out some dangerous tools and opened shellings on the crowd. It's further mentioned that they were called and upon their arrival, they realized that Four individuals had multiple holes from the dangerous tools. They were taken to the hospital where two of them were pronounced by the medical team and the other two were admitted and are still being treated at the hospital. Tropical Storm Elsa has made landfall along the Florida Gulf Coast. The United States National Hurricane Center has mentioned that Tropical Storm Elsa has made landfall along North Florida's Gulf Coast. The storm center went ashore in Taylor County, and this is a lightly populated area. It arrived on Wednesday morning. According to weather forecasters, Elsa's path will go across inland North Florida with heavy rains and winds, and then move on to Georgia, then to the Carolinas, and then move towards Virginia before heading out into the Atlantic Ocean on Friday. Currently, maximum sustained winds are close to 65 miles per hour with higher gusts. It is expected that the system will weaken as it moves further inland later in the week. Tornado warnings were issued in several northern Florida counties, including the Gainesville area. Heavy rain and gusty winds were expected across northern Florida once the storm makes an expected turn to the northeast. Some flooding is also expected in the region where the ground is already saturated from heavy rains that fell last week. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Let me know what you think about all of the stories that have been shared in this session. Have a wonderful day and remember that your security is your top priority. Goodbye.